YouTube, this is one of my best games in a while. Super Bowl for all the marbles, Brady on the field, and I'll show you guys how I was attacking his defense and what he was doing and what plays I used and how I manipulated not only his user, but his zones and everything else on the field to get what I wanted down the field. So let's check it out. He was running man coverage. So the one thing is you gotta go to your man beating plays. Your man beating plays are great and man coverage honestly is not that great uh, without zones or without pressure. So if you guys want all the plays, manturf.com, that link is below. You can get the full ebook there. But the main plays I'm gonna wanna try to mix in here are gonna be Saints in and they're gonna be PA shot seams. Now these have deep routes that beat man coverage deep down the field. That's kind of what you want because obviously some people don't put deep blues, some people put purples. This guy was running a little bit of spinner, well, a lot of bit of spinner all game. And he was running, what he would do was instead of most people, you guys watch me, would play blitz, 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 he would go with something like this man up everybody just like that, three man rush. And he'd have purple zones on both sides most of the time. While he was still in spinner, so he always had a blitz ready. I always had to worry about the blitz, but this is what he had. And he had Fred, he's going to have Fred Warner fully theme teamed out with like 99 speed. So I got to worry about that. But this is pretty much the same defense I'm playing. How do I know? Because I went through enough reps of the game. This is why people pass all the time. So you get enough reps against their defense. But why do you never run the ball? Because I want as many reps as I can passing so I know what defense they're running. So if you do this 10 times in a row, you probably want to do it with the 11th. That's why you pass every single play. That's why most players, good players, pass every single play. So you just get repetitions against what they're doing. You get familiar with what they're doing. And I got familiar that this guy was not blitzing that often, but he always had it as a weapon. So... This is the play I want to run, mostly because of Julian Edelman's route. It's going to be deep down the field. Uh, I kind of like to put that to the wide side. It doesn't really matter when they're playing zero coverage. So what you're going to see is he does a great job in this game as you watch it. You can go ahead and watch that. He does a great job being disciplined with his user deep down the field. That's something he's been really good at. He's going to take away this deep route to Edelman. So now my goal is if I'm going to occupy his user with a deep route like that, what can I put underneath of these zones and underneath of his user to get big yards against man coverage? And that's pretty much uh, the Texas route because I know I'm going to occupy his user deep with Julian Edelman down the middle of the field. Now I have the whole field to work with. And what I like to do is use my flat routes, Alave and Kittle, to kind of open up the zones and they'll take those flat zones to the sideline. That way I have more space to those slants, crossing routes, slant and angle routes, whatever it is in the middle field, I have more space. So when I run a play like this, it's really kind of, I'm only going to throw to Edelman or Byers. It sounds crazy, but... Those are my reads. Where are you going to use her? I know you're putting zones to take away corner routes, so I'll use my flat routes to push those zones to the sideline, open and vacate areas in the field for me to throw to buyers, throw to slants, and ultimately I want to throw deep. But if he's going to take that away, I have to throw underneath. So that's pretty much what I like to do. And if they're putting a bunch of purple zones or flat zones, let's put more routes to the middle of the field away from those flat zones. And I'll still keep those two flat routes, the Kittle and Alave you see here. They will still open up those zones to those slants and anything like that. Now, if you watch this game, Brady kind of sold me. But you'll get into that as it goes. The other play I'll show you guys is PA shot seams. This is a play, if you're running this playbook, it's going to help you against man coverage so much. It is one of the best man coverage beaters that Edelman route will eventually run. Uh, oh, we snapped the ball. Will eventually run by the coverage. You see it right there. Edelman running by Chavarius Ward. And that was, I didn't even let it really develop that much. Now, in this game, now here we go. This game, you guys also pay attention. Normally I run my, my tight this way, but because he has a deep knockout on the right and I went and looked and he, he didn't have a deep knockout on the left, bang, I put this route over here. What's better about this route as opposed to the Saints in route is it's not in the middle of the field, so it's harder for him to lurk with Fred Warner, where if I keep that post in the middle of the field, he can kind of bait me, you know, 10 yards and then shoot back to 50 yards down the middle of the field. Whereas if I put this route all the way out here, if he doesn't put a deep blue, now I'm scoring a touchdown, you know, all the way to the sideline outside the red line, so he cannot use her at all. So for me, that's why this route complements the other route so much better. 
And one last little tip that I'll show you guys. I know I defensively, I get into this all the time as far as what routes are on what side of the running back. Okay, his best corner route is on the side of the running back or it's on the opposite side. I know this when I play defense. So if he's leaning his coverage or leaning his user to Alave with this man beating route, put your running back on the other side and bluff him as if now, now it's Edelman running this route. You know, and if you don't want to bluff him, if, if you really want to do it, all you got to do is flip. And now he has to guard the other side. So if you mess around with where your running back goes, then you're going to mess not allow him to continually fall back and lurk that route with his user. He's not going to know what side it's on. So that's pretty much what I like to do. Like I said, I want to do a deep route, and then we'll just have two crossing routes over the middle pretty much the entire game. Just like this. One going left, one going right, somebody deep. That's pretty much how I want to attack man coverage. I don't have the idea. I'm All five receivers are not an option for me when I snap the ball. It's so easy to watch somebody play and say, this dude was open, that guy was open. But you have to realize, when I set up a play, half of the players aren't even an option. They're literally on the field to take up space or remove some defensive players or make defensive players go to a spot that I want them to go to. So a lot of times when I go to pass, there's only two or three people that can possibly get the ball. So that's why even somebody as great and as marvelous as me may miss a read. But watch how I miss reads, make reads, and play in this Super Bowl for all the marbles with Tom Brady at quarterback. Ed, you don't be playing mad no more? Ed, will you be grinding? What other games you guys grind, boys? Talk to me. I, I do feel like Spinner, I feel like I want to start mixing in some short. I think against really good players, short will be more helpful than the medium. You know, not that I'm playing Henry's and for the rest of the year, but I honestly, there's so much I can't wait to watch in the, uh, the game tomorrow night between Henry and Dez. I think it's Monday, right? There's so much I want to watch, man. And, and like, I just, I'm just like, I want to watch Henry play defense or offense against that, you know, the dollar high pressure, you know, and I like the way he played against Kobo because Kobo played like how I would play defense. There's little things that I would have did different. And I feel like Henry does such a good job at like just checking down or taking short passes against pressure that I feel like having a short knockouts against Henry would almost be like a better thing to have, you know. This guy sucks. That is gonna stop the run, right? There's a lot, but there's really like a lot of things that for me to like think about in that game is like, how well is Henry gonna stop the, or Dez gonna stop the run with his line spread? You know, he doesn't want to pinch his line, but he will if he if he has to, you know. I honestly feel like Henry's so much. I feel like Dez, I, Dez is like. Dez is really good. I just feel like Henry is like, oh my God, was that the most perfect timing route of all time? Holy sh Good tackle though. Let's go. We make that play. We make that work. Come on. Let's go. Make it count. I like to put my zones on 30 down here so they play the back of the end zone or they play like in the end zone. It might be stupid, but a lot of these dudes that do hitches and that shit that like, you know, to, to attract the zones, I feel like it doesn't work as well when you put it, put your zone drops on. I always like to play man and then like zone one side and I have the other side. I got tight and out route. Pick. I'll try to click on as fast as I could right there. Let's see what he does. He's quick snapped the shit out the ball both times here. Oh, they let him skedaddle, didn't they? Oh, they let him skedaddle, didn't they? Oh my God, I feel kind of cheated. I think Henry's defense is unreal. I wouldn't want to play against him, to be honest. I, I I don't even know what I would do. It's man, it's zone, it's match, it's everything, dude. That dude is a demon on defense. Like I I only think people like I couldn't like I wanted to do a video like what does Henry do on defense? But I I wish I I don't even know. Like his shit is like he does a bunch of different shit and he'll adapt. Like, I think he's really good on defense. And that's the beauty of the Cub is that it can be a lot of different defenses. Like, Dollar, I mean, you could run match and Dollar, but you're running spinner, you're running spinner, you're running zone, you know. That's what makes Cub so good is that it has match in it. So this is just, man. And on top of that, I mean, God, we got out of there with Fred Warner, didn't he? 
it negates threat detector. So you have no idea when he's really sending the crib and when he's not, which is what's really good about Cub. Well, everybody knows, everybody that played, Henry's good on defense. Like he's a defensive player first. He's even said that a bunch of times. He tried it, good effort. Like, I, I don't see a world in where Henry gets blown out. So you're gonna have to out execute Henry. And I, I don't think, I think execution is Henry's like greatest strength. You know, he's had so many games where he kicks the game winning field goal. Like you're gonna ask somebody to out execute Henry is, is tough dude, for real. How well can Dez stop the run out of dollar with his line spread? You know, baseline dollar. How well can he stop Henry's run? Cause Henry's gonna try to run for sure, you know? Especially in those clocking situations. I mean, I, I don't even know what the argument is like against him, you know, like. Or like what the, what an argument would be for somebody else. Is that Purdy punting? Purdy punting? Oh, that was a weak juke. Brady, do you have that? Oh my God. Brady had that though. Brady had that throw, just so you guys, he had that. I mean, one thing I was wish I was better at, I feel like the run is so bad this year that like, you can low key stop the run by accident. Like you don't even have to have run defense this year. And I wish I knew how to stop like, all right, inside zone is coming or base is coming. Why do I shoot the gap? All over nickel? I, I feel like it just it just screams and it's symmetrical. Nickel's not, when I mean symmetrical is like when they audible, when these crabs audible. Oh my God, what the f I thought I was gonna throw it up the side of the field. Like he low key got way too much yards on that run right there. Like what are we doing? Jump that. Come on, man. Knockout. Oh my god. Ward. Oh, I guess that was almost a medium pass right there. I didn't blitz my user, so we're in shambles right here. Yep, I didn't blitz my user, so my team didn't pass rush. Milkman! I almost want to put a spy, but I need that yellow zone in the middle. I have to use your spy right here. I have to. This is why sometimes I almost want to put like get a double or nothing on my team just so you can only rush one person and they actually rush. All right, trip side and he's on quick snap. I already know what quick play is quick snap in here. He's gonna know how to this. God, man. Oh! Red zone defense has failed twice. It's not good. Not ideal. This guy's been playing like spinner, but then he's been playing coverage out of it. Brady, what the f man? Are you kidding me? Dog. All right, man. Oh, I'm losing my mind right now. This Fred Warner is fast as shit. Yo. Right here. Oh my god! How do we not pick? Like, boys! Alright. 
Now what I realize is he has deep knockout on the right side, but not the left. So what I have is a... That Alave route is going to beat man covers deep, and he doesn't have deep knockout on that, so... Oh no, you ain't let him tackle me like that. He's due for a blitz here pretty soon. You know, boys? We could even flip this play because I can catch this route. Doing a good job covering the middle of the field, bro. Definitely due for a blitz here any moment here, boys. Let me get you for a reason, man. Oh my god, boy, I wasn't ready for blitz. God, and I wasn't ready for a good play. Wow, man. What's the matter, though? Dude, Brady, the second one in a, the second time you smoke a slant. Thank you, man. You're just chucking shit in the air. Like, dog, like, are y'all, am I trolling? Go, big boy. Come on, boys. Like, that's like way too much. Like, Milkman, come on. What? He's gonna quick snap whatever it is. He's not making a hot route, adjustment, anything. He's going to snap the f ball right here. Yes, sir, Ski. Let's go, man. Come on. Keep sending him. Ah, I gambled that he wouldn't put the running back out. I didn't guard the running back right there. I really didn't because we knew somebody would come free. He, well, he didn't want to throw the running back in the flat on third and ten. He didn't want to throw the running back on a flat on third and ten right there. He didn't want to do that. Big boy time. Tackles. Let's go. Come on. Yeah. Come on, boys. Same thing's on quick snap. Tight slots. Oh, he don't quick snap in tight slots, though. I'm going to be honest. He's been just throwing over the middle against me here. Swat. Oh my god, dude. I just can't click on there. That's me. That's my bad, dude. I don't even know where my man went. I don't even know, like... That was bad. That was bad. Oof. Too much time on the clock for Brady, man. That's right. Inside stuff. Let's go, Byers. That's how you start a drive right there. Maybe that's how you start a drive. Let's get on that in, and we're going to run the ball again here. Like, dude, my blocking is poor. Let's go, boys. Come on. I'm not clicking on the Chucks the Moss. I'm really not. Right, it's just going to come down to Chuck the Moss. That's all. It's going to come down to Chuck the Moss. Hey, still sending out his running back. Juke, please. 
we'll take a timeout. Thank you. Ah, uh, I don't want to give him time though. I just don't. It's just a debate. Like I just don't want to give him time. Like, I really don't. What's Debo Samuel got? Short out of lead. He's not even gonna get open. Oh, press these dudes. They're not getting open. End the game. Let's go, Harrison. Get par big ass off the field, man. What do you think this is? Daycare? Jajai's. Alave, another bomb in the Super Bowl. Alave. Going nuts. Let's go, man. I mean, I got stopped because Bray, I swear. Bray just smoked so many passes. Like, I don't know what you guys want me to do. GG's, 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 GG's. Super Bowl champions of the world in Texans jerseys. Will the Texans ever make it to Super Bowl? I don't know. GG's, Super Bowl champs, Alave, MVP. What does Brady look like? Remember Elway look like Simba? What do, does Brady look like real Brady? I don't even see Brady. Oh, that's really Brady. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay, EA. Give us a one to 10 on Brady. I feel like it's a nine. I feel like it's a nine, maybe nine, nine, five. Pretty decent. Brady, 335, four tutties, three picks though. Like Alave, 199 and three touchdowns. That's tough. That's a tough, that's a good outing right there. Drake London. Byers, Edelman. Kittle didn't have a catch. Wow. Alave. Going nuts.